Good morning, guys. This is Carl Xiao. Thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about the goals, the goals for 2022. This is the first time I take goals so seriously. I literally spent the last two days sitting in the Starbucks doing nothing but writing a script for this video. A specific plan that I'm going to carry out next year. 2022 is going to be a great year. I already know it. All right, so in today's video, I would love to share my goals of 2022 with y'all. And I have put them into three big categories, which are self-development, relationship, and professional. All right, guys, this is my format. I actually created a chart for each category. So first, I will share my performance slash outcome goals with y'all. For example, I would want to make $100,000 by the end of the year. So that is the outcome goal, right? And how can I actually achieve that goal? I need specific actions to make that happen, right? For example, I, I'm going to do the dishwash uh, every day for 18 hours a day and for the 300 days a year, and then I can make that happen. So that is the action goal. My first big category, self-development. I want to become a better person. I want to become a better self. I want to become a better version of myself, physically, mentally, and spiritually. So let's get started. First physical part is actually the easiest part because I've been a runner for 10 years and I'm a very sports person, but I want to take it to another level. I want to challenge myself to run every single day for the next entire year. And I've actually been running since August 1st this year and I've never taken a day off. I got inspired by a guy whose name is Hella Good. I don't know his real name, but his YouTube channel's name is Hella Good. And he started running since 2017, I believe. It's been four years, almost four years now, and every day. And he's the first black man who run across the United States for 84 days and from Los Angeles to New York City all the way, man. That is so impressive. I really want to do something like that. Maybe someday I'll do that too. But right now I want to focus on doing something like consistently without even stop. So my goal is to run every single day for 365 days for the next year. And I'm quite confident I can actually do that very easily. My second physical goal is actually get into my best shape. I want to get more shredded. But let's be real here. I am really satisfied with my body shape and I love the way I look already. But the only reason is actually I want to impress more people, to be honest, because I'm now a content creator. I want to make some you know, content about working out, exercising, and I got just be looking like as perfect as possible. So it grabs people's attention, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I got no choice, man. People don't really, you know, even click on your video if you're not shredded enough, if you're not looking like Cristiano Ronaldo. Nobody's gonna be interested in your workout video, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, besides that, I wanna get into calisthenics. I got influenced by Tom Merritt. Um, I actually follow one of his stretching routine for over three years now. And also later, I discovered Chris Harrell's channel. And those two guys just got me so amazed all the time, you know, I just, you know, start to thinking I should be able to do something like that because I'm such a sports person. I want to challenge myself to get into calisthenics. I actually bought these two push-ups bars uh, a few days ago and I started to doing handstand. I was never able to do a handstand. Like growing up, I did not have the boss to do something like that. I'm, I'm afraid to fall. But now I want to challenge myself to leave my comfort zone and start doing more handstand and other stuff. Um, other like cool stuff. I don't even know the name yet, but you know, you know what I'm saying, right? Calisthenics, I'm coming. All right, my last physical goal is very simple. I want to look better. I want to have better appearance. But my definition of looking better is not like having bigger eyes. Some people would get their eyes enlarged and uh, having a better nose or better lips. I'm not interested in those kind of a plastic surgery, but I want to look more vibrant. I want to look more energetic. I want to have a better skin, you know? And all I got to do is to maintain a healthy lifestyle I'm living right now, which is going to bed early, eating healthy, uh, regularly exercise. And also, um, I probably need a better skincare routine and more detailed routine and I'm really ignorant on that. Let me know if you guys have a really good skincare routine. I always have pimples, I always have skin problems. You know, my skin is just quite sensitive and yeah. Uh, anyways, those are my physical goals. Let's talk about spiritual goals. I did not have any idea of uh, how important spirituality is until I discovered Opera Winfrey's podcast, Super Soul. I've been listening to Super Soul every night when I go to sleep and it's helped me so much. And I love the podcast. I recommend you guys check it out, her podcast. I just love her really voice, by the way. First and most importantly, I want to be happier. I want to have a happy year. And one of the best routines I discovered recently, actually it's from Opera Winfrey's as well, is to keep a gratitude journal. And I started to doing this a few days ago, I mean a few weeks ago, and it was quite effective. I start to writing down five things that I feel the grateful most at the moment and that would just immediately lift me up, you know, paying attention to the little things around me and feeling grateful for everything that we have in our life and just immediately will make ourselves happier. I recommend you guys do that as well. The next goal I have for spirituality growing is I want to be more loving. I want to love more. Uh, in the past, I used to be like a hater. A hater. I, I used to be always hating on something. Like, that guy is annoying. That thing is stupid or whatever. I, I realized, you know, it's so toxic. 
It's so toxic. I want to love more. I want to send love and show love to everything and everyone in my life more next year. And next, I want to be braver. You know, I used to have a lot of fears. Um, fears of judgment, fears of failure, fears of embarrassment, fears of mistake, and all of that, and a lot of things. And I want to overcome my fears. I want to challenge myself to overcome each every fear. You know, I'm so tired of having fears because having fear equals to having faith. It's the same thing, right? It's all what you believe. And I want to starting from today. I want to start choose to believe the good and the right and the positive things only. Okay? I want to only live with courage and faith. That's it. Next, I want to be more present with my life, in my life. You know, often we get so distracted by our phone, by the websites, by everything around us, and we never pay attention to ourselves. I want to pay more attention to myself next year. I want to be more present. I want to enjoy my time, enjoy the being, and breathe, you know, just enjoy life. You know, why do we have to be so occupied all the time? I want to be present. Even I'm not doing anything, even I'm doing some, like, just boring things, I can still be present and enjoy that moment. One of the practices I'm doing is meditation. I am practicing self-meditation to really find that inner self. And next one, I want to be more confident. I would say I'm a quite confident person already. But at the same time, I just feel like I'm just not confident in everything yet. But I should be. Because there's no reason not to. Just like the fears. It's really just a feeling about yourself. And it's a choice. I want to choose to be more confident. I want to practice. And the last one, the last spiritual goal I want to have for the next year is to be more charming. I don't know how you guys define charming. But to me, charming is like attractiveness to both gender. Okay, not just like sexually attractive, but like just being a nice guy and friendly guy and my action goal is to smile and laugh more as much as I can. You know, um, I'm aware of myself when I'm not smiling like this. I, I look that serious. I look like somebody owed me a million dollars and I'm like so mad. Give me my fucking money back. <laughs> you motherfucker. But I'm not mad. I'm just sometimes feeling like awkward. Starting from today, next year, I want to smile more. I want to practice smiling to the strangers, to everyone around me, okay? I want to send love to everyone. But I don't really want to have wrinkles. That's another reason I didn't want to smile as much, you know? I'm, I'm getting wrinkles, but I start to realize, you know, having wrinkles is, is charming. All right, after the spiritual goal, I want to share with you all my mental goals, which is about my mental development. The first mental goal I got here is to read one book a month one good book, okay? I was actually thinking about some more ambitious goals for this one. I was thinking, oh, I know somebody like who read 50 books or even 100 books a year. And should I do something like to challenge myself? And I started realize, no, that's not what I want. I, I do not want the quantity. I want the quality. I want to be able to really extra. I want to be able to really understand as much as I can from really just one book at a time. I do not want to rush finishing every book and maybe a few weeks later or a few days later even, I couldn't remember what I've read. So besides having the one hour a day as my daily routine, I would spend at least around 15 minutes to write down a reading summary to really reflect what I just read about and what I loved about and what I want to share with my friends. And next year, I definitely want to, you know, make videos recommending books to my friends uh, because it's helpful, it's meaningful and books are wisdom and I love reading books. And next mental goal I have is to speak much, much better English. I have to, I have to speak really good English. I'm so sick of tired, I'm so tired of me, you know, startling and just speaking broken English. I'm so tired of it. You know, I just got so many ideas and thoughts in my head and a lot of times I just do not know how to put it into words. And that just, ah, uh, that just, Ah, they're like this, like this moment. I have, I have this kind of moment for a long time. Since I started learning English seriously in high school, uh, I want to overcome this. So my action goal is to practice 15 minutes of public speaking daily. I mean in public, not just to the public because I do not have the audience for me to practice all the time. So I would use literally every object around me to be my audience. Like the laptop, the lamp, everything around me is my audience. And I would just literally stand in front of the mirror and just talk to the mirror, talk to myself and give myself a talk. You know what I'm saying? Besides that, I'm recording one minute speaking video and post to another YouTube account every day to just talk about my day and share about my feelings. And I do not prepare for that. And I just turn on my phone and then I press the record and I start talking. I want to just challenge myself to really speak out my mind instantly. You get what I'm saying, right? Okay. Uh, the next goal, learning two new languages. This one is quite challenging for me, to be honest, but I want to do it. I want to challenge myself only because it's hard and I want to do it. First language I'm considering is Spanish. Why do I want to learn Spanish? Because I'm going back to the United States someday and the second most used language in the United States is Spanish and 
I want to learn that language as at the beginning of me starting a language learning journey, okay? And the second option, I'm still considering between Japanese and French and German or Italian or whatever. I, I, I don't know yet. I want to do more research and set that as my goal. And my action goal is to sign up some two hour weekly learning session online and practice five minutes a day Spanish. And I haven't started that yet, um, but I will soon next year. This is the next year goal, okay? The last mental goal I have here is to become more creative. As a content creator, I gotta be more creative. Like standing here talking to the camera could be boring. And I just gotta come up with creative ways to make my videos more appealing and more interesting and people will want to watch okay so I want to practice I want to create more I want to read more I want to watch more I want to learn more and yeah I believe creativity is a skill which you can practice okay it's not a born gift that everyone has it inside of them the second big category for my 2022 goals is relationship first of all I want to spend more quality time with my family if you guys ever lived in a different country for more than five, six, seven years, you would feel the same thing as I feel, probably. And you would cherish every time that you got to see your family. During those five, six years, you would like constantly have those feelings that you won't even be able to see some of the family member for the last time. Like my grandparents, they are all over 80 years old and I really don't know how long they're gonna be here. I bless them to live as long as possible. And so I really wanna cherish every day that I can see them while I am still living in my hometown city. Yeah, this is my big goal for 2022. I wanna spend more time spend more quality time, being more present with my family. I wish my family a very healthy and very safe, happy year, 2022. Next, I want to make more meaningful connections, both online and offline. Now, you know, I'm a YouTuber, right? I have to really get to know people online, which I'm not really good at. I'm not good at running a social media. I'm not good at, you know, making friends online because I do not really enjoy using my phone too much. But, you know, as a content creator, I have to build that network. And I'm gonna start, you know, reaching out to people and leave comments and send direct message to people on social media, on YouTube, and try to make more meaningful connections. Besides that, I wanna be the one who says hi the first, always. All right, the last goal I'm having here is that I'm staying single for an entire year. I mean, this is not a challenging goal, but it's a mindful decision I made. I wanna stay single. The only reason being, I wanna focus. I wanna focus on doing everything that I wanna do. At this moment, I don't need that romantic relationship in my life and sometimes it just takes too much energy and time and focus away from doing the things that you want to do okay so yeah it comes with sacrifice to achieve your dreams right all right last but not least let's talk about the professional goals but wait a minute you might wonder what is my profession though i consider myself a full-time content creator without salary without getting paid 32 subscribers till this day i mean i didn't even try yet trust me i'll get more so let's talk about the goals okay the first goal i got is post at least 60 videos next year which equals to five videos at least every month i mean it's not difficult but it's still challenging to keep it doing consistently that's the difficult part i'm gonna give myself another four year to really focus on the quantity over quality phase because my skill set does not allow me to focus on getting more quality work at this moment yet but i will get better i will get better so my goals are pretty straightforward i want to make as many videos as possible i actually made up a list of 60 more than 60 videos in a year this list includes seven different categories which covers three to four niches i definitely want to make better videos how can i do that very easy make more videos take some learning lessons take some film class and i actually signed up casey nasdaq's one month video class this is a hands-on 30-day learning experience designed to teach you everything that I know about filmmaking and storytelling. I'm pretty excited about that to be honest and I've never taken a film class before. I've only learned everything uh, from YouTube, uh, thanks to YouTube, thanks to a lot of big channels like Sync Media and this video is actually the first time I ever wrote a script for making a video. That's why I keep looking at the screen because I, I actually have a script for this video and I literally typed every word I'm going to say and my third professional goal is to get monetized on YouTube which requires me a thousand subscribers but I should not focus on the numbers which I cannot control like how many subscribers is not decided by me you know I can only decide how many videos and how good a video I'm gonna make I cannot decide whether this person is gonna like my video or how many people is gonna subscribe to my channel I cannot decide that I cannot control that so there's no point to set that as my goal so I give up that idea but still I want to have just a little goal there that just guides me to move forward, you know, and getting monetized is probably the official recognition by YouTube, I guess. Instead, I want to focus on making more and better videos. The next goal I have is to start posting 
and making videos on Chinese platform including Weibo, Douyin, Bilibili, and Kuaishou, probably. And I don't know many other websites, but I'm gonna just make videos in Chinese and post them on different platforms. Because, you know, I am living in China, I am Chinese, I speak Chinese as my native language, which is a lot easier for me to speak and talk to the camera. But I started to make videos in English because I want to challenge myself to start the difficult one. And then when I get better, I can do the videos in Chinese. My plan is to make YouTube videos uh, first and then I'm gonna just translate all my script to Chinese and record the talking bits uh, all over again to make a Chinese language version one on Chinese video sharing websites. And yeah, that's my plan. And I do not know how it's gonna work, but my plan is to make at least one to three videos every two weeks. The last professional goal I have here is to post more on social media. You know, I often just don't have the courage to post the content that I want to post on social media because I just worry people uh, would judge me. But now as a content creator, I have to really be more active on social media to get more engagement and interactions. So my plan is to post on Instagram story every single day. Since I'm gonna start running every single day, I'm gonna start my own running challenge as well. And I'm also going to post some positive quotes on Instagram story every single day because I just I just want to, you know, contribute my effort to making this world more positive. I believe in positivity now, okay? Alright, hey friend, now I want you to take a moment to think about what are your goals for 2022. It's coming, it's coming very soon. Let's all set a goal for the great year, okay? The whole point for me to really share all these goals and come up with this, all these goals that I'm actually gonna execute is I want to hold myself accountable. I want to share with all my friends so I will be more driven. I will, you know, thinking like, I gotta do all this. Otherwise, you know, I will just fail myself. I do not want to fail myself publicly. Let's help each other and hold each other accountable. All right, this is the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the content. And if you guys do, please leave a like. Hit that subscribe, because I'm going to make some great contents for the next year. And I'm really excited about that. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.